Coverage of the 26th annual meeting of the ASMBS is sponsored by Allergan, makers of the Lap Band AP system. Hi, this is Leslie Thompson with the Weight Loss Surgery Channel, reporting from the 2009 annual meeting of the American Society for Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery. And I am joined by Dr. Kent Huffman, who is a bariatric physician based in Sandusky, Ohio. Dr. Huffman, thank you for being with us. It's a pleasure. I enjoy being here. Now, a bariatric physician is different than a bariatric surgeon, and part of the work that you do is consulting with primary care physicians for them to understand the pre- and post-operative needs of weight loss surgery patients. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, the primary care physicians are the gatekeepers of our healthcare system and up to this point they they don't well understand what bariatric surgery does and then they're uh, they're even less clear of what the patient's uh, nutritional needs are post bariatric uh, surgical care so what I do is first go in and educate the primary care docs about the need for bariatric surgery and how bariatric surgery improves the health of their patients then we hone in on what the particular nutritional needs of those patients are pre-op and post-op so the perioperative acute care where we're talking about preparing the patients for surgery and reducing the risk, uh, and then post-op, how to transition them from clear liquid diets to full diets, all the way out to the long-term care of these patients years out. Because what we see with some of the malabsorptive procedures, uh, the patients may develop nutritional deficiencies. And so we want to make these primary care docs aware in many cases, the patients don't go back to the surgeons, so the surgeons aren't there to, to watch them two and three and four years out, but they all go back to the primary care docs, so we're trying to do a, a better job of educating the primary care docs about the special needs of the patients. So, as a patient goes back for their annual physical, let's say, to their primary care physician, what are some things that the physician can do to make sure that that patient is getting enough nutrients, that they're not iron deficient? Are there particular blood tests, things that they Yeah, make? they'll look at blood tests and they'll look at the surgery. If they've had a band, we recommend 45 grams of supplemented protein a day. If they had a ba uh, gastric bypass or a biliopancreatic diversion, 60 grams of protein. So they're going to ask them, are you doing your su supplemented in proteins? Make sure we're getting that. All of them should be on a good multivitamin, at least a chewable or some sort of liquid or powdered multivitamin. Uh, the band patients have less malabsorption, so there's not a concern with a lot, maybe a little extra calcium. But the gastric bypass and biliopancreatic diversions, where we bypass intestines, now those folks have particular needs for additional calcium. Calcium may, needs to be in a calcium citrate form because there's not the stomach acid to help the calcium carbonate be, uh, become absorbed. They need additional thiamine. The biliopancreatic diversions even have more uh, vitamin uh, deficiencies than some of the fat-soluble vitamins. So we look at the vit we look at the particular surgery, and then we give the uh, primary care docs sort of a guideline to follow. If they've had this surgery, these are the things they need. If they've had this surgery, these are the things they need. Mm -hmm. Now, my understanding with um, some of the the regular multivitamins that one might pick up at, at the supermarket is that. For example, if you're a gastric bypass patient, they may not break down appropriately in your system because they don't sit in the stomach and they're not digested in the way that they would be with a typical individual. So how can people know that they're getting enough vitamins even if they're taking supplements? Are there particular kinds of supplements they need yeah, to be taking? You're right. They're, they're, because of the uh, lack of the acids, now there's not the stomach's gone from a size of a football to a size of a golf ball, or you've lost all that stomach acid. So if you need acid to absorb things like calcium, you don't have it. So you've got to change the formula to a calcium citrate or an acid form of calcium. So just going out and get calcium doesn't matter. It doesn't make it, it won't do it. Um, certain vitamins don't get absorbed as well. Um, the patients that have bypass have less time um, in the GI tract to absorb. So a lot of the uh, multivitamins will end up in the toilet bowl. They just, you know, they didn't get absorbed. They took the vitamin, but they didn't get absorbed. So we've got to make sure we've got better release of the vitamins. And there is a big difference in vitamins, you know, and how they're made. And it's unfortunate, but the better vitamins cost a little bit more money. You know, you can get a Flintstone for pennies. To get a good <laughs> vitamin is going to cost you a little bit. Uh, we can also do blood tests on them. So if we're not certain, uh, we can go ahead and check their vitamin levels, their D levels, look at their bone densities and those kind of things. So there's clinical things we can do. But probably the easiest thing is to make sure that the uh, physician, the patients are aware of the difference in the quality and absorbability of some of these bioavailability of these vitamins. So looking for a brand that's specifically formulated for bariatric patients like HealthWise or one of right. the other brands? Yeah, well, with HealthWise, um, they uh, formulate a 
preoperative vitamin that meets the needs of the patients preoperatively. Postoperatively, it's an entirely different type of vitamin class, so there's an entirely different vitamin. So having somebody buy a, a uh, generic vitamin doesn't work. It doesn't work preoperatively or postoperatively, but at HealthWise, we've not only uh, developed uh, specific vitamins, but we've done it based on their where they are with their surgery, whether they're pre-op, post-op, if they're bypass, if they're banned, a biliary pancreatic diversion, we have a vitamin developed for them, as well as the, what's really important is the protein supplements. It's, a lot of these folks after surgery have difficulty getting in uh, high quality protein. Some of them would develop lactose intolerance or have difficulty with meats, and we see these patients getting muscle wasting diseases. So we have, we have uh, developed protein supplements that actually help the patients get the proteins and get it uh, easily absorbed. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a very important consideration uh, during weight loss is you want to lose the weight, but you don't want to lose that lean muscle mass. That's right. Yeah, because your lean muscle mass determines your uh, basal metabolic rate. So if, you're, um, if you lose the muscle mass, it makes it harder to lose, lose the weight. So we want to preserve muscle mass. That's why preoperatively we use these uh, protein sparing modified fasting to weight down quickly but preserve muscle. Uh, these VLCDs are very low calorie diets that we use. Um, uh, are a, a high dense protein that helps preserve muscle but it allows us to go through rapid weight loss and shrink up the liver. So we've got developed a, um, it's called ProMed 100, it's a uh, protein supplement just for the pre-op fast that gives them everything they need. Postoperatively then we get into the clear liquids, full liquids, pureed foods, all the way up into entrees that HealthWise has now developed a complete line of uh, shelf stable entrees that are portion controlled for patients. And what we found in the past where patients would go out and do protein supplements, but they would they'd eat a bar that's that big and when they have a stomach that big. So we've reformulated everything to, to fit those smaller pockets so that our, our supplements fit the size of the pouch better and then less discomfort for the patient, yet getting an adequate protein supplement. Well, that's great information. Dr. Huffman, thank you so much for being with us Thank today. you very much. And thank you for joining us today. I'm Leslie Thompson for the Weight Loss Surgery Channel.